Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to set up our development environment using Shopify theme kit. And there is mainly two ways of developing a Shopify theme. Either you are using Shopify CLI or Shopify theme kit. In this video, we will focus on theme kit. And in the next video, we will focus on Shopify CLI. CLI is recommended by Shopify, but it is not ready yet. It has a lot of bug and a lot of developer complain about this one. And for the people who start developing Shopify theme, CLI is a bit confusing. I will focus on that. I will like show you how it works and a lot of like the settings. But for now, to start it, I'm going to use with ThemeKit because it is really easy to do. Now, what is ThemeKit? It is a development tool created by Shopify long time ago and a lot of people were using it. Now they are trying to replace it with CLI. As I said, CLI has a lot of issues. We don't use it. Now, ThemeKit is a tool that you install in your computer. What it does is it just creates a pipeline between your text editor and the Shopify store you have. Imagine this is our store and we bring all the changes in here. We have to come to the code editor in here and bring the changes. That is not a viable way of doing it. You have to bring the changes in your code editor locally. To do that, you need ThemeKit. ThemeKit uh, comes here and ThemeKit is talking to your store when you are bringing all the changes in your local machine. So what you, get, what you need to do is you have to go to getting started. From here, it has different um, installation kit. In this, like, in this video, uh, you know that I'm using Mac OS, but if you are using Windows, it is really easy to install Coco and using Coco, you can install ThemeKit. But for Mac OS, I use Homebrew. If you are already using Mac, so Homebrew is already installed probably. You, if you don't have it, you can uh, go to Homebrew. It is free. You can install it. And using Homebrew, you can install ThemeKit. Once you have it, if you come to your um, CLI or any tool that you use and you just type theme, you will have access to all available command. You have configured, deployed, download, and all of this. We will explore all the command. For now, all you have to know is like, um, that is all you need to know. Just uh, make sure you have installed this one. And the next step is to create um, an API for your store. If, if ThemeKit want to talk to your store, you have to create an API key for that. So you create the API uh, by navigating to the app directory in here. After here, you click in this manage private app. Since this is a fresh store, you will come here. We don't have any. Prior to this, page you will have another page where you say you should enable it if this is the first time you should enable it and you just accept some term and condition and then you enable it for us we are going to create it because i enable it behind the scene and in here i don't know why it is running slow as i said team kit will just create a pipeline between your uh, code editor your local machine and your team which is live in here Sometimes, oops, yeah, it just came here. I'm going to refresh it. Now I'm going to give it a name of team dev, and here you should enter your email. And I'll come back down here. This is where we uh, spe specify the conditions. If we are generating an API key for this guy that here that is here, which permission you want to give it. So I will scroll down to the bottom. Uh, the only permission I give is access to the team. So let me search for the team. In here, I will give it a read and write access. This is all you need to do. There is another way of doing it also that Shopify recommend. You, you can install an app called Team Access, which is also an, another option. I'm not going to do that one, but this is um, the old way and it is really good. This is also really, really easy to do. Just install the app, give it a permission and it will do it. But for us, since I'm doing it the old way, you can also do this one, but you can try the new way also. So you have to give it read and write. Someone with this API key can read and write to your team. So I'm going to create this one. I have no idea why this is being so slow today while I am recording, but still, yeah, we have access to the code now. This is the password that we have, and this is the API key. And you should not use it because 
as soon as I finish recording, I'm going to reset this one. So even if you use it, you cannot modify my team. So make sure you don't use it. I'll copy this. All I have to do is um, just come to your code editor. From here, I'm going to create a new window. This is a fresh window in here. I'm going to save this file. I hope the sound uh, from outside uh, is not uh, recording here. So I'm going to create a folder in not in the username I will come to the uh, desktop in here I'll give it a name I search a little bit on Google for the down alternative previously it was called debut but now we can call it sunrise how about that just give me a second I just close the window Sorry, I don't want you to get the sound from outside. I'm not going to take this out of the editing, but yeah. So coming back to our theme in here, I will call it theme sunrise and I will push this on GitHub also. So we'll create the folder and then we will open it. Now let's save this file. Now if we have the sidebar, let's fully screen it. We have the sidebar we have the folder in here oh this is untitled okay we are going to open the same folder so it should display the directive for us in here i'm going to remove this file from here but we will create a file called um, config.yaml this is where we store our configuration let me remove this one move to trash once we enter our uh, configuration in this file, this file can talk to our store. So to add those configuration, you come to the Shopify theme kit in here. And these are all the comments that they have. I'm not really interested in the comment. I am interested in adding the, the configuration. So you can click on the configuration reference in here. And there should be a template that we can use, something like this make sure you call it development for now i will add it in here call it development anything you want but the default one that it is getting is development this is the theme id this is the store and this is the proxy which we don't need i will also remove this ignore files for now but all we need to do is paste the password in here let's go to the theme i'll copy the password and paste it in here now let's go to uh, the theme that we have when we grab the theme id we store it in here and also our store name which is code inspired theme you copy it and instead of this we'll put it here now let's grab the theme id this is where you grab the theme id if you click in this customize this is where you find theme id i'll copy it and instead of this you can paste it one more thing I have to show you that you can directly put without putting the, the quotation for this one also. Now, once it is done in here, let me open the terminal in here. Here are some of the comments. You can run theme download. When you run theme download, it is going to read the config.yaml. This is development store and it read all the password and it will download this theme for us which is the down theme but if I run this comment let's see if we aren't getting any error nope we are not it download the whole structure of the theme so if you're wondering where the theme structure is coming from if I go to the browser clicking in three dots if you click on the edit code it is going to show you the theme structure live in here this is the layout template section I will talk more about this in the future videos but for now this is all you have to know Theme structure is always like this. You cannot create your own folder. You cannot create your own directory in here, which is inside another directory. They have a limited things. So there is like 233 files. It is going to download that and you are ready to go. Before I finish this one, uh, this video, I just want to show you some other comment. If you go to the comment reference, uh, there are some of the comment using shop like the team you can run the team help it will show you all the command team deploy you say which environment i want to deploy environment refer to this one either it is development or it is like production and then you can add multiple one we'll talk more about this but for now all you have to know is um, these are all the comments that are available 
the one that we use a lot is this watch what the watch is doing it is watching for any changes on our theme directory when we bring it and it will instantly operate it to the server and it will be available and affect your life site so we have deploy we use the deploy a lot when if you want to override the whole uh, changes on your theme you can use the deploy but watch will watch for only the changes that you bring which is very useful and you have this configure which is a command that you can configure also uh, what this configure is doing it is just creating a config.yaml file for you the same way that we did manually that is doing that so it is going to download and it is going to take some time but yeah you are ready to go and as soon as like it finished you will have access to all the files in here but yeah in the next video we will see how the Shopify CLI is going to do and how that one is going to work this is ready all you have to do is just theme watch bring the changes and it should be all good to go I hope this video has been informative thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video